here you have all different kinds of um, covering material for the tea, which is also for making uh, tencha, for sencha. Uh, and some are better, some are worse. The producer we're visiting today um, has tried many different types, and the ones over here, they are uh, least suitable for their purposes. Uh, this one, for example, is uh, with silver on the inside. It reflects a lot of the sunlight because it's so light material, it flaps up in the air and so it slaps the bushes underneath, which is not good for the, um, for the tea leaf. Now the ones over here, these only block out because you can see it's very, um, very open. It lets a lot of light through still. It's only 70% of um, the light that is blocked. And these, um, although they're very good and they're very dark as well, um, the knitting is not done very skillfully because uh, at some parts there's holes in them and they might burn some of the leaf underneath it. So um, although the idea was very good, um, they could have done a better job on knitting it because it still affects the bushes. Now the, the best ones they have found uh, for their purposes are ones that um, are similar to these but lead, let only 85% of uh, the sunlight through, which is quite dark and which is, um, well, best to produce a quality uh, tencha for matcha.